गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट आई एम योर स्टीफल सर फ्रॉम इकरा इंग्लिश मीडियम टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश स्टैंडर्ड नाइन एंड द बुक विच आई एम गोइंग टू यूज इज अ मोमेंट सॉरी बी हाइव टेक्स्ट बुक चैप्टर नंबर नाइन द बॉन्ड ऑफ लव सो इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर द स्टोरी highlights the emotional bond between human beings and animals the narrator's wife share affection with a wild bear and they get attached to each other shows that animal have feelings and reciprocate to love with warmth and affection so in the story the narrator highlights the emotional bond shared by his wife and their pet bear bruno he got the baby bear in an accident and presented it to his wife she named the bear bruno and treated like treated it like a baby the bear was fed milk with a bottle and later it started eating different food items he enjoyed eating and drinking everything and anything bruno was attached to everyone including their tenants children and their pet elstein dog it would play run around the house and even sleep in their bed one day accidentally it ate a poison brainium carbonate which had been kept in the library to kill mice and rats bruno was under a fit of paralysis and was taken to a veterinary doctor he was injected twice and finally revived after a while bruno resumed eating normally in another incident he drank a gallon of old engine oil which the narrator had kept to fight a treat belt attack this is not have any ill effect on bruno as a day passed bruno grew bigger but rebel as sweet and playful the narrator's wife changed his name to baba which was a hindustani word for a small boy he had learned a few tricks to when commanded baba wrestle or baba box he would tackle and overpower the person when ordered baba holds girl he would point a stick at the person he asks baba where is the baby he would take out the piece of wood and would cradle it affectionately like a baby as he was big now he had to be changed because he had to be chained because he could harm the tenant's children the narrator and his son and their friends advised the narrator's wife to send baba to a zoo as he was too big to be kept as a pet she gave and finally after taking consent from the zoo in charge they packed baba in a cage and sent him to the zoo at mysore everyone based him but felt relieved as it was not comfortable to keep him at home <laughs> the narrator's wife missed baba immensely she cried and worried about him she wrote letter to the zoo in charge to ask about baba's well being 
They replied that Baba was fine but did not eat ill. Rebel said much like her. She would ask her friends visiting Mysore to visit Baba. Everyone said that he was sad and appeared thin. After three months had passed, the narrator's wife convinced him to take her to meet Baba. Everyone had predicted that the bear would not recognize her, but she had not even reached the cage when well, Baba recognized her. He stood on his two paws and was delighted to see her. She petted Baba and fed him his favorite food. He spent three hours there until the visiting hours ended and left. Tray. I'd. She requested the zoo in charge to allow them to take Baba back for which they had to take permission from the superintendent in Bangalore. As they got the required permission, Baba was put in a cage. The cage kept all on top of their car and Baba was brought back home. They got a special island made for Baba to live on. It was surrounded by a deep dry pit. Baba was provided with his belonging a box to sleep in, straw to keep him warm, his thick and piece of wood to play with. The narrator's wife would visit Baba on the island by swinging on a rope tied in a mango tree. She would make the big bear sit in her lap for hours and would pat him affectionately. So this was the explanation of this chapter. I hope you understood this chapter. Thank you so much.